If you type electric scooter in Alibaba website, almost all Chinese scooters listed in the website can be found in Indian market. But if you type electric motorcycle, you won't believe most of the electric bikes claims they are made in India, actually they are made in China electric bikes. Why Indian electric vehicles becoming China? Let's explore in this video. Namaste, I am Krishnathanya Mandela, you are watching MVS Auto. How many petrol scooters are there in India? Activa. TBS Jupiter, Suzuki Axis, hardly 20 scooters. But in electric vehicles, if you ask how many electric scooters are there, there is no answer. The reason is, in India, there are thousands of electric scooter models, hundreds of electric scooter companies. The electric scooter market in India colored with Chinese mall. As of 2023, there are 450 plus registered EV companies in China. As of 2023, there are 150 plus EV two-wheeler companies in India. In India, there are 100 plus electric two-wheeler companies with 1000 plus electric two-wheeler models. But surprising fact, less than 10% EV two-wheeler companies are manufacturing in India, remaining are imported from China and assembling here. In the 1000 electric two-wheeler models, almost similar design scooters can be found in other EV companies. The reason, no company registered case on any other company for copyright design because they are importing the vehicles from China. Then why Indian EV two-wheeler market is relying on China? Here are the few reasons. Number one, research and development cost. According to a market report, the Indian EV market in 2022 is reported as 6,176 crores and the market is expected to reach 1,50,000 crores by 2028. There is a huge demand in EV industry. To make money, some companies imported electric vehicles from China. If an entrepreneur thought of establishing an EV company to build made in India product for R&D, it required huge capital at least 5 to 10 crore rupees. But importing the same electric vehicles from China required just 10% of the money. Also, the stock is ready, more options and more models. This is the reason most of the Indian two-wheeler companies relying on China. And the second thing, open market design. In China, there is open market design. For example, if you see this video, you immediately say it is Hero Splendor bike. But reality, it is an electric bike. Almost 3 to 5 companies in India selling the same design electric bike. And this is Vespa look design electric scooter. But hundreds of models selling the similar model in India. Because of open market design, companies can bring different types of models in months which reduce their time and money. In EV two-wheeler segment, Original equipment manufacturers, OEMs are under 10% and 90% are assembling companies. They import and assemble here. And the third reason, price factor. We need to agree that the imported electric vehicles played a crucial role in Indian EV market growth. If there are only two to three EV companies, they're going to be high prices in electric two-wheelers. In 2018, players like Aether Energy, TVS, Bajaj, Hero Motor Corp entered into the EV space. But from 2008 to 2018, major Indian EV growth happened because of imported vehicles from China. Today, there are hundreds of electric vehicle companies in India which are imported. That is the reason electric two-wheelers are still available at 50,000 rupees pricing. Today, you can import an electric scooter for just 20,000 rupees without battery from China, but you need to add 28% of GST, adding cargo cost and transport cost. The same vehicle cost 30,000 rupees. If the same vehicle made in India, the cost becomes 15% to 20% of extra. Due to the investment in manufacturing, most of the entrepreneurs importing electric two-wheelers from China. But the problem with Chinese influence on India is the quality. The assemblers in India have the option of selecting the quality of suspension body parts. In China, there is an electric scooter for 15,000 rupees and the same electric scooter for 25,000 rupees without battery. But the price difference lies in quality. There are cases poor quality electric vehicles imported from China which gave bad impression for EV market. And China is full of companies that sell these low cost products in bulk. And the fourth reason, lithium ion dominance. The major component in an electric vehicle is a battery pack. At present, the advanced batteries in EVs are lithium ion. China is dominating the lithium ion game in the world. They are deciding the price of lithium. Reason, China not only making lithium ion batteries, but also investing in other countries. For example, the country with largest lithium reserves found in Australia. But China already own mines in Australia. Indian EV companies can buy lithium from Australia. Distance from India 
to Australia is 7,809 kilometers and India to China the distance is 7,538 kilometers. So India can import from Australia for lithium. The problem is in China same lithium and battery cost 10 to 20 percent cheaper because Chinese manufacture batteries in bigger volumes. That's the reason we are relying on China not only for electric vehicle batteries but also for smartphones and laptop batteries. And the fifth reason motor cost. The second major component in an electric vehicle is the motor. In two wheelers 90 percent of the electric two wheelers are made with BLDC hub motors. China is again supplying BLDC hub motors at a cheaper rate. Currently most of BLDC motors are imported from China because of the cheaper cost. A simple example if a 1 kilowatt BLDC motor cost 800 rupees in China, after importing to India, it will be 2000 rupees. In case, if the same 1 kilowatt BLDC motor need to be made in India, the price will be doubled because in India, EV market size is small. Very few players are making BLDC motors. If they want to sell at low price, they need to sell at higher volumes. Already, China having an established market offering for low price. Another reason, BLDC or PMSM motors requires magnets. The magnets like ferrites are used. These are also called as rare earth metals. Again, China having highest rare earth metals with 44 million tons and India having 6.9 million tons of reserves. Considering all these factors, how Indian EV market becoming China? The reason is China 8 years ahead of India in terms of EV market. The country started EV journey in 2001 and India started the EV journey in 2008. They are already doing mass production. They are controlling the EV supply chain starting from motor, controller and battery pack. No matter what, India is growing in EV market. 2019 to 2020 report, electric vehicle growth increased by 20% in 2022. The growth rate is 223 percentage. At present, there are 30 lakh electric vehicles in India. And my aim is to see made in India electric vehicles. We went for an electric vehicle expo. A company completely imported Chinese vehicles started from scooters, bikes, cars and autos. Because of this, a negative impression spreading on electric vehicles. One day in Indian electric vehicle expo, only Indian EVs should be there. It is the day we will be ahead of China. Remember, importing electric vehicles from China is not wrong, but importing low quality EVs and playing with customers life is wrong. Today we are importing EV components from China because negligible companies making EV components. EV ecosystem is still under construction. Big players like Hero Motor Corp, TVS, Bajaj, Honda are not seriously entered into EVs because they are having fear of losing their petrol market. Once EV market grows in India, definitely the Chinese influence of Indian EV market will go down. End of the day, if good service for electric vehicles are provided, electric vehicle sales automatically rise in India.